Welcome back to the Grady Girl Sessions. That's right, this is episode two where I show my naturally black ass for you guys. I kinda let it all go because I got so much to say and I figured, you know what? Let me just have a nice little session, talk about all of the shit that's on my mind because there's so much going on in the world today. I can't even begin to explain how much shit is going on and you have so much reaction to it usually i come home from a long day's work i sit on a couch i turn on the tv i gotta listen to dumbass trump talk about this fucking wall he gonna build you know what i have no words i don't even want to give him my attention so no words for you trump None. I'm not going to give you none. So I'm going to skip past that yet again. That's twice I'm skipping past him. But I'm going to get to him. But right now, I'm just, I can't. I, I, I literally can't. So, bye. So, this week, and I'm going to start off with my girl, Yandy Smith. Yandy was out there doing something very good. They were out there protesting the deplorable conditions at, I think it was the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. Now, I personally love you for that, Yandy. I love all the people who were out there. I wish I'd known about it because I would have been down there too. But I got to say this, and Yandy, you know, I love you, but girl... Your ass is in every goddamn thing but a casket. Damn, I turned the TV on. I said, what the fuck is Yandy up there? She Then I sprayed some pepper spray in her face and she all on the ground. And I was just watching you, what, a week or two weeks ago where you was taking in some little girl who was in foster care. And you had taken her in and you hadn't even checked in with the authorities and... Girl, you're doing too much. Sit your ass down, Yandy. I love you. I love you being a businesswoman, but sometimes, you know, you got to you gotta step back because I just felt like, okay, what's my girl Yandy doing? Like, you all over the place. Now, I do want to say, again, I appreciate you bringing so much attention to that jail not having power. It was cold this past weekend. They didn't have any power in the goddamn jails. Why in the hell... Do they think it's okay not to have power? So if there's no power, you not having, you don't have any heat. You probably don't have no running water, and you got all of these men in this detention center and no fucking power. And it was like I believe like a couple of days. And the fact that they thought that was okay to do to our black men is beyond fucked up. So I appreciate all of the women who went down there and they made such a big stink about it. They got out, they protest, they made noise. And I thought it was really key. And I know this was Yandy because she's so smart. She needs to sit her ass down right now. But she was so smart by getting that bullhorn and, you know, telling them, asking the inmates questions and basically getting them to respond by banging on whatever they had on the cell or the windows or whatever. So she was asking questions like, do you guys have heat? And, you know, yes, bang if, bang if it's yes. Or, you know, so if you hear silence, you know that that's not it. And it, she asked, you know, um, did you guys get the packages that we sent? Bang, if you get the packages, it was silence. And she was like, uh, is the power off? Bang. And they started banging. And I mean, chills went up my spine because I was like, that's how we need to use our power. I love the fact that she's using her voice for this. And it was just brilliant because through social media and then they were, um, I think, Facebook Live or Periscope. I don't know what they were doing, Instagram Live, but they were doing it live as well. And I just thought that if we all get creative and think about that, just how the, they did that. They kind of got the power turned on way faster than they would have through ordinary channels. So the fact that they showed up, started, you know, videotaping live, streaming live, 
and the fact that she was speaking with them through a bullhorn so effective so smart yo yandy i really love you for that but girl okay take take a break boo sit your ass down take a break take care of them pretty kids because you have some pretty ass kids take care of them kids breathe and see about your man and then you know get back on the front lines and do what you do love you i just had to say that because that's the story that really got to me one of the other things that i really really want to talk about um cardi b my girl cardi b y'all gotta give this girl some dap and i want i'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 anybody that know me i'm gonna keep it 100 I was one of the people, I love Cardi B, I love her music, but because I'm such a community activist and I'm always worried about what the kids are listening to, and I started, you know, asking a couple of people like, you know, we loving Cardi B, but, you know, when you saying shit like, fuck them, then I get some money, and then your little girls run around talking about, fuck them, then I get some money, I don't, I don't want my daughter or I don't want other little girls saying that so I was conflicted about that but I have to say little girls are smarter than we giving them credit for because it was a little girl I don't know the little girl's name it was a black little girl who redid Cardi's uh new money song um and she did it about girl scout cookies and she did the rap and she changed the words and when you look at it from that lens if they're gonna bypass the fact that cardi's saying some really vile shit and they're gonna pick up on the fact that okay this girl came from the gutter of the gutter and now she's in super bowl ads and she is killing the game right now if these little girls are smart enough to catch that and, and, and figure out, okay, how can I make this work? Because it's cool that this little girl was smart enough to say, I got to sell these Girl Scout cookies, so I'm going to use this Cardi B song about money and tell y'all how to buy these cookies for me. And she sold, I don't know, I think about $10,000 worth of cookies. She sold a whole lot of cookies, so kudos to her. And it made me rethink the whole Cardi B thing, so hopefully you know we can still love cardi's music because i love cardi b music man why i love it but i don't want the message to get misconstrued because we don't want our kids out here you know talking about fuck them then i get some money because no you don't fuck them and you don't get no money but you get that money you go to school you know what i'm saying that's how you get that money so uh, you know what i feel so much better <laughs> Remember, this is called Brady Girl Sessions. So check me out and tell a friend.